Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to generate MFEM match file using WebSIM. MFEM is open source and a free solver for fine element methods. As lots of information on the website, you can find the tutorials, examples, and source code, everything. So WebSIM can generate this mesh file for F MFEM. In this demonstration, I'll be using the Linux Ubuntu operating system, but if the Windows users, the procedures are totally the same. So first, let's go to the installation folder of the WebSIM. So right-click, we have the terminal window. Type in the dot slash run WebSIM. So be careful the cases, because this is a Linux operating system. Enter. Now create a new project. So most of simulation, we need to define the materials at the beginning. But in this project, we only care about the mesh data. So let's just start from the geometry. So Wesson provides two methods to create a new geometry. First, you can import the geometry from outside the files. Second, you can create some simple geometries using the building methods. So here we create a 3D box, a very simple geometry for demo. Uh, click the mesh button, we generate the mesh. So the mesh data also given here. Sometimes we don't need a very uh, fine mesh at the beginning for F MFEM because the solver can automatically refine the mesh during calculation. So we also can, uh, for this demonstration, I want to create a very coarse mesh because it's easy for us to investigate the mesh file. Okay, let's make it a little bit coarse. Okay, here it's good. Now we just simply right click the export mesh, select this from the context menu. Then we can save the file to the temp folder. Let's say temp mesh. And don't forget to select the format for the MFEM mesh format. Otherwise, uh, they're going to generate the default UMV mesh. Okay, so save. Let's go to the folder and verify the file. Okay. Now, this is a mesh file we generated a few seconds ago. We have this is, sorry, this is elements. Okay. I just accidentally correct something. Okay. Then this is the vertices. This is a very important information for the file. Sometimes we also need the boundary information that Wesson can do that as well. So if we go back to the graphical in the interface, now let's change the physics type from the structure to the electromagnetics. Then we add some boundary conditions. Uh, we don't really concern about what type of boundary condition because we only need the mesh file. So this is ground. We impose on this surface. Then we apply the voltage on another side, give uh, any kind of value. So you can define more than two boundary conditions. Uh, you also can uh, select different entities, such as uh, the phase. You also can select uh, the edge if you want to okay or the vertice if you want to okay so we define two boundary surface boundary here now we can select the export input script from the menu okay then let's just define just open that's it we generate the file already now there is some other script we don't really interest in the only file we're interested in is mfem.mmesh file this one is we uh, is what we want. Now we not only have elements block, but also we have the boundary. In this boundary block, we have 48 surfaces. And there are two different boundaries. One is the ground, which has a unique ID of 13. Okay, this is identical to this one has ID 13. Okay. Same thing, we have a second boundary condition has a unique ID number 14. Same thing, we define the voltage has the ID 14. And they are consistent. Okay, that's uh, pretty much how to generate 
the mesh file for the MFEM. Very simple and straightforward. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thank you for watching. Bye.